Okay, are we live? Hey guys, this is Bobby Clue with the Somerset Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. We're back at it again for another one of our virtual ribbon cuttings. And today we're out and about. We're at Ferguson. We're down here at From the Vine Produce and Marketplace. This is a really cool little place if you guys haven't been down here. And I'm learning a lot more just since I walked in the door and talked to our, our owners over here. So, uh, Debbie Hall, yes. Tammy Sinkhorn, I know your husband, uh, owners, proprietors here at, uh, from the Vine, and um, this is a great place. So, we always want to give everybody a frame of reference on where we're located at. So, can you guys tell everybody how to get here? So, I know we're in Ferguson, but where are we at? Well, we're in the heart of Ferguson, really. The heart of Ferguson. So, yeah, we're about midway. You come from the north end of town and you'll find us. You come from the south sure. end of town and you'll find us. What's the address here? It's 610 Waddle Street. 610 Waddle Street. Mm -hmm. So it's real easy to find. You know, if you throw a rock, you're, you know, Ferguson's not that big. It's, yeah. it's, it's easy to find. You can GPS it in. It's right off of the main drag out here. Yeah, it, if you look through the tree line while you're driving down Murphy, you can see. Yeah, it. you can actually yeah. see us <laughs> yeah. through the trees. So, uh, ladies, can you tell me a little bit about how you be came from the vine and, and uh, the story here on w how you how this business originated and and, uh, and maybe a little bit about what you do. Um, you want to start? Well, it's actually that person right back there, Tammy well, Price Tammy. Anger, who yeah. was the the commonality between the two of us. She and I did not know each other at all mm -hmm. before we started this venture, and. Uh, we're almost three years in now, so it's um, it's been very interesting. But so so do, produce and marketplace both. So I, I know there's a marketplace. I've learned a lot about the produce side mm -hmm. just since I walked in the door. I didn't know a lot about that. Tell us about that. We started with a totally different concept in mind. Uh -huh. um, we were looking to do more of a, a vendors event type thing. Uh, a vendor mall or something? yes, with, yeah. then that's why we were looking for a, a large building. But there was already a, pro a produce distributor that was here okay. um, and established, and they she was a shopper mm -hmm. previously to that, and so they were closing their doors, and it just it, God had other plans, so it just felt right that sure. we kept the produce piece of it, the commercial side, and um, so so we you added to that so well when one door closes, another one opens, right? Oh yeah, and you were saying that you provide a lot of this produce to restaurants here, the schools, different places, is that right? Yes. So that's got to be a big chunk of your business then. Yes. So, so yeah, that, we have some, some that use us as their primary supplier, mm -hmm. some were secondary because they have other sources that they're required to use. Sure. Um, but if they have a need, um, get bad produce or whatever, then a lot of times they'll come to us. It, and when you them. say produce, are we talking about, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about vegetables, fruits, what do we, what do we mean? Yeah. And, where, of and where does this stuff come from? We have various suppliers. We obviously check the best sources. Um, this time of year, if we can get it locally and fresh, we do that. Um, it's been kind of chaotic <laughs> so far this year, so we've yeah. not been able to go to a lot of the, the produce auctions and sort of things like we do mm -hmm. um, typically throughout this season. But uh, we do have several suppliers gotcha. that we source um, to get the best price for us that we can pass that along to our Are, are you seeing some price increases because of tra you know fuel and and yes, just seeing, logistics across and the board we're seeing fuel surcharges added to our invoices sure. so we have to encompass that into all of our charges we've not done that to our customers mm -hmm. we're we're local and we try to be as convenient for our customers as we can so we don't charge a fuel surcharge um right. delivery fees or anything right. like sure that. we have a um certain days or certain delivery dates mm -hmm. but here locally we try if if they have a need we try to take it to them that day or, yeah. or at the latest the next morning so. i got you it's very interesting because i really didn't know that that side of the business even you know existed i thought mm -hmm. that this was just a marketplace that we could come out and i've been out here you know several times i was selling the story you know, for our Super Bowl party this year, I bought everything here. Uh, you all we have, too, you yeah. have this, uh, uh, it's a, it's, it's uh, the, the meat uh, sauce for spaghetti, you know, yeah, yeah. it is amazing. Um, and I've got stacks of it in my freezer. So there's such, there's some really cool stuff uh, on that side too. And that's one thing too, when you find it, you better get it. Right. And you better yeah. stock up. Because well, well, yeah. I see on your Facebook page, you know, it's like, 
it's here while till it's, it's while it's gone. Yeah. Could could we go inside and could we kind of look at the marketplace Absolutely, side of yeah. things as well? And yeah. maybe you could even show us the produce, maybe the coolers or something sure. like yeah. that. We just kind of give everybody a, a view so everybody knows where we're at now. So let's go inside and take a look okay. at it. Sounds good. I'll follow you guys. All right. You tell me where to go. You, you gotta, to you gotta come with us. You're good. You know, as well. It's a little steep, but. <laughs> well, you do a job. Telling do my best work behind the scenes. So. Oh boy, it feels okay. So here. we're so we're inside now, and maybe we could. Is this the produce side this over is, here? Yeah, this is where okay. we keep our produce for our general marketplace. So can, so come can people just, come in here and buy for market? Yes. Uh -huh. So this yeah. isn't for this isn't going to the school systems or no, this anything is just like the this. Market. Yeah, this, this is just is for just, us. Uh, yeah. So if I'm a local, and you have I want to come out here. I mean, look at this. This you is need some fresh. During COVID, a so that, that's o ago. that's not. So that's over. So now we just do just now, the I mean, fresh look items. At this. Now, if we can get in some bulk items at a good price, we pass that along right. to customers. But it's not the number two stuff that that, that I, once was. That was the previous owner. That was gotcha. that was their market. I'm always amazed at the 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 affordability of the stuff that I yeah. find here. I see things Thank that you. I don't see Thank you. at traditionally on the shelf at some of our our other uh, grocery stores. Yeah. And the prices are ridiculously affordable. We try our best. It's a am it's amazing yeah. actually. So Thank I you. would love to go. Could you show us the sure. uh, maybe the marketplace side of things? Yes. It's, um, it's our pretty freezers fun. are a little jammed right now because yesterday was truck day. Well, but that's everybody good. So, loves truck day. So everybody so. listen mm -hmm. to that. If you just heard that, yeah. this is a, you know, when it's gone, it's gone type of a thing yes. that we now have we right do here. We have some items that are staples. We right. get them in on a weekly basis. What are some of those? Um, like uh, the Wendy's Grilled Chicken, Wendy's Home what? Style Chicken. Look at that. Did you hear that? Wendy's, Wendy's Grilled, grilled Home Chicken. Style. Those are two of our best I sellers. I mean, come on. Get out of here. We I mean, get it, the big, um, extra large, old fashioned chuck wagon patties. That's another one of our big things. You this, can't I've find seen this the anywhere. old school, like uh, school pizza. We get here. The school pizza. Uh, I have seen yeah. things that just, you know, it, it takes you back. Back. It does. Uh, yes. We try to be nostalgic. Well, I mean, like sure. I really like the general store vibe, and so yeah, that's kind of what we're trying to achieve. Well, it's neat. I mean, you yeah. can see down through here, Crystal. You can just kind of, yeah. we can walk and talk a little so bit. I, mean, I don't look at know that. how we do, but on the discount side of our business, sometimes uh -huh. we get in items that you can't, that are out of stock everywhere. Sure. Like right now, we've got the German bologna. Right. Yeah, can't find that just anywhere right now. Apparently, there's really? like a shortage on it. So we happen to have that. It's in good day. Um, Wow. Like nine ninety nine a roll. Wow. In most places it's like several dollars per pound. Absolutely. You know? so, See, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing how affordable these things are, and maybe For it's the quantity. And a lot of things yeah. that you see in here, they've already been cooked yes. and pre packaged, yes, and, and they're frozen. So mm -hmm. you know, if you don't need two hundred mozzarella sticks, yeah. you might be able to come down here and just get thirty. Yeah. You know, in a, a pre packaged. Which is great because so so often when you purchase these things in bulk, it's an overwhelming amount of food, is, yeah. and this is much more manageable. So again, I, I personally yeah. come down here and shop many times, and I, I will tell you, it's amazing just to see because you've got a lot mm -hmm. of things just like you'd see in the store. Yes, but yeah, then we try to got, keep some. You know, some of the older folks they can't handle the the bulk, right? Stuff, so they like just the individual. But I mean, look at that. I mean, there's a fully cooked smoked brisket. Yeah, I mean that's and amazing. Those are amazing. Those are uh, it's a Curly's brand and they're trimmed already. Wow! And I had that at the house. That's some of the best brisket I've ever So you I've just have to ate. heat and eat with that. Yes. I mean that's amazing. We just sizzled it up on our blackstone. Beer so cheese good. soup. Uh, Beer cheese soup. Yeah. See, look, prepackaged. Yes, you just frozen thaw and warm. I mean, that's, just amazing. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff you don't see those types of right. things. Yeah, and a lot of the uh, like here a, locally anywhere. Yeah. And a lot of the better restaurants carry like specialty items that way. And sure. Somehow they end up with us. If I was a restaurant, you know, those are the kind of things that you know might make your life, especially if you're not a corporate, you know, yes. big, yes. you know, entity. Mm -hmm. These some of these things you could do as one offs, and it just might make your life a whole lot easier. Yeah, we you know? have several that come in and get things just to put on special, like yeah. weekly special. Right. Uh, we have a lot of like a fully cooked smoked brisket vendors, stuff like that. You know, that come and. And, and do this kind of thing. Yeah. And, and, and not only, see, look, here's what I was talking about. White Castle 
cheese sticks. I yeah. mean, this Sometimes is the. Sometimes we know the restaurant. It's on the box. Sometimes and you see, it's not. you see things like when you said Wendy's chicken, uh -huh. White Castle cheese sticks. Yeah, we have Sonic it's and Arby's neat. too right uh, now. I mean, that's pretty cool. So they're, yeah. th those are the same things they use. You carry those. Yes. Yeah. And you can just get huge bags of uh, French fries. Yeah, right now we've got the, Mc, the McDonald's shoestring fries right McDonald's now. McDonald's yeah, fries. Yeah, well, I think it's a six pound bag for $7.99. Well, I mean. well, we all know it's a proven fact that McDonald's has the best French fries they do. in the Hands world. They do. Hands down. So I was thrilled when we got that. Yeah. Thing. I was so, thrilled. I mean, Chuck Patties. This yeah. is the so this is the frozen side, and then over mm -hmm. here you've got kind of the dry goods. The dry goods, yeah. And got, you've you know, got everything from just giant bulk, bulk, yeah, bulk size yeah. ranch, you know. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're a restaurant and you're running through a whole lot of ranch dressing, yeah. you know, my house this might last for a year and a half. Right. But at a restaurant that might last four days, yes. you know. And I yeah. mean that's a really you know, if you're refilling things quite often, yeah. oh, is that ketchup or something? No, that's the Catalina. Oh, Catalina. But we do, well, I was going to say, we do have ketchup. We do get you know, ketchup and, in bulk as but well. But it's, it's great to have all of these these options out here. And, and I would assume that these uh, change they quite do. often. They do. And they're they're here today, gone tomorrow, pretty quick because most of them will be like close in date. Right. Sometimes when we get them, so we got to move them quick, which, you sure. know, the price reflects that. Absolutely. So we try to try to be at least half of what you can get in the store for. That's always my goal. And, half and, price or and I've, I've noticed too that you have a very uh, active Facebook page yeah. because you're constantly, when these things are going in here, we try to keep you show in. those and then people come here immediately to get they them. They do. Because we have, when they're gone, have, they're gone. We have an amazing group of customers. Yeah. I uh, have the best. I, can, I'm sorry I had to break, but I do. Can, I have the best. Can you tell everybody uh, how to get a hold of you guys? Is there a phone number, Facebook, Insta yeah. how, how do we get a hold of you guys at, uh, from well, the Well, you can call us at 606-679-1308. Uh, I'll answer any question I can that way. But So if somebody um, says, hey, do you have any, call yeah. just to check and see yeah. if you have something. I have something. a lot of outer towners that will call mm -hmm. before they come. Or you know? it might be an idea like me. Let's say you're having a get-together, a Super Bowl yeah. party. Say, hey, what do you have? that might be good for a Super Bowl yes. party. And then maybe you could just pull those things and they can head that way, you know, yes. or something like yeah. that. Yeah, we'll accommodate, so, especially so when they're coming from out of town. We try to so take So you can, they can call you and you can they answer can those call questions? Me, follow our Facebook page for sure, from the Vine Marketplace, um, for sure. Um, it's actually from the, the Vine Produce Distributors Marketplace, even on Facebook. Sure. Um, they can P or inbox me and I'll answer any questions that I can. We keep. You know, trucks coming tomorrow. That way they can make plans that trucks coming tomorrow. Right. Extended hours today. This is our special, you know, just whatever we have going on. At the and, time. and this is, and what are your hours here through uh, um, Monday through Sunday? When so, do you, when so you open? Mondays, we're here 9 to 3. Tuesday is our later day. That's usually truck day. Uh -huh. 9 to 5 30. Okay. And then Wednesday through Saturday is 9 to 3 as well. 9 to 3. Okay. Now, in the world of produce, produce is all of our deliveries and stuff start early. Mm hmm. And then two in this big building, it starts to heat up in here a little bit, get a little <laughs> come the afternoon. Sure. So um, we're working, always working to try to improve, you know, the building and sure. the air and all this type of stuff. But until we get there, we're just kind of, yeah. you know, winging as far as that I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Well, it's good for people to know your hours and how to get a hold of you. Yes. And, and, you know, the whole point of us doing this is just so people get to know from the vine a little bit better. Yes. And they get to see... What you know, I've seen, and what anybody that comes in here, because I mean, you have tremendous traffic yeah. that's coming in here. You know, we've been in here talking for six or seven minutes. You know, wow. there's been a dozen people in and out of yes, here. Yes, I think so, we've got the best customers. Right? Really do. Yeah. So yeah. very, very cool, and 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 I want to thank you, well, thank um, you. For, for for taking some time yeah. to. Uh, to spend with us today. Well, I wanna, thank you for taking the wanna, time to come and explore us. We, yeah, we're, we're always appreciative. Yeah, and again, if anybody's tuning in, we're down. We're in, in Ferguson. What's the address 610 here? Six Ten Waddle Street. Six Ten Waddle uh -huh. Street, right off the main drag. It's yeah. very. We try to keep signs. Sometimes they get sure. gone. I don't know where they go. I think a lot of no times idea, when the guys mow, they probably move probably. those. Is what so, ends up happening. We try to keep at least yard signs out. Yeah. And off of the bypass, there's a big sign directing yes. you this way. Um, so yeah. And if anyone, if any restaurants or businesses is interested in maybe looking at our pricing to kind of see where we can pair, they can always email us or ah. email Tammy. Tammy will get them a price list of, of all the things that we offer. What's the email address? It is from the vine produce at gmail.com. Perfect. Yeah. 
and uh, she can get you know and, and it's ever changing you know as the market goes up or down but for the most sure. part we can send them a current well, I, I think price list. that you know you've got such an unique Thank kind you. of a, a, a selection of frozen things here that Thank you. if you're just a uh, civilian like myself yeah. it's fun to come over here and shop yes. because you see things that you never see you do I and call it pilfering yeah, you never know what you'll right? find yes. and if you're a restaurant you know what a what a massive amount of savings that you could yeah. probably find in this in this in this yeah. place right here and again you know if you deal in bulk you know this is your bread and butter I mean this is this is your place. So, yeah. uh, again, thank you all for, for being chamber members. We, we yes, appreciate that. You. We know you don't have to be, and you've made yeah. that choice. So, yeah. thank you very much. And, and, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go outside. We've got a crowd amassing. I'm hoping. We're, we're going to go outside, gonna and we're going to do a, a, a in-person ribbon cutting. Yeah. So, guys, thank you very much. Uh, we have another virtual ribbon cutting next week. So, stay tuned. Until then. Have a wonderful week. Thank you all. Thank you.